well, 1989 is a whole year, so it was quite big, but my experiences of November 1989 uh, will always remain with me because I uh, had lived in Berlin, in West Berlin, for a year in 1986 to 1987 as a student. And the moment I heard that something was going on in Berlin, I got on the next train from the United Kingdom, from Britain, to Berlin. And so I experienced all the excitement of 1989, November 1989, in Berlin. And uh, it was a fantastic experience for me personally, because I had been in the divided city just a couple of years before. And it felt like a miracle. It was a miracle, in a sense, what happened. And uh, there was that excitement, I think, not only of experiencing the sense of freedom that there was in those weeks as the borders opened throughout Central Europe, but also there was another excitement which, was, which is every bit as strong, which is that sense of borders falling down, of people crossing over from one side to another, going to different worlds, to unfamiliar worlds, and the excitement of that. It's the English word transgression, which literally means crossing, generally has negative connotations, but at that moment I experienced this transgression as something wonderfully liberating and exciting. And um, I think that, more than anything else, will stay with me. And it's also why I I'm always filled with horror when I hear about uh, the idea of building borders to solve problems. I think building borders, putting up walls, creates more problems than it solves. Those events of 1989 completely transformed my life. Um, not just inwardly in the way that I experienced what was, I think, quite literally a miracle, something wonderful. Uh, but also uh, externally, because uh, thanks to the opening of borders, I ended up living in Czechoslovakia. I ended up uh, staying in Czechoslovakia. It's uh, the Czech Republic, is the country where I live today. I'm at home in Prague. I have two children who were born in the Czech Republic. I was married in the Czech Republic, and uh, my wife and I live in the center of Prague. So for me, those events had a direct impact on my life and whatever happens in the rest of my life they will continue to have that uh, impact and and the and the great thing is that it's something that's positive that has influenced my life to such an extent so many people uh, are affected by the experience of, of war or of becoming a refugee or of losing something or of having to flee something my life has been built, or the, the, the second half of my life so far, has been built on something that uh, was, was really very positive and very exciting, and I, I like to cling on to that euphoria.